And sure enough, a recent study found that most people think this way, believing the more money in a lost wallet, the less likely it is to be returned. But what if we're wrong about humanity? With only one way to find out, we set up hidden cameras and filled several plastic wallets with $65 in cash. To make it look authentic, we included a key, a grocery list, and a stack of business cards with a name and phone number. Hi, ma'am. And then we lost them. Excuse me, sir. Hi, is this yours? Or more precisely, a producer passed off each wallet to a perfect stranger. Hi, I found this just now right there in the corner. Do you guys think maybe you can figure this out? Because I really have to go. There was absolutely nothing to stop these people from wandering off. Yeah, he seems to be pondering it. And in fact, as we watched from a nearby car, some folks did walk away with our cash. But they were the exception. Of the eight wallets we lost, five found their way back to us. As people either delivered the wallet to a business or police station. We work for CBS, so we're doing a little uh, social psychology experiment. Yeah. Or took the time. Oh, you found my wallet. Thank you. To see it safely returned in person. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate no, it. No, no, definitely. It. Exactly. And you return the wallet. <laughs> well, what else would you do? Well, I don't know. You tell me. What else would you do? Well, I couldn't take it. That's for sure. Why did you do it? Why? You just dead. You shouldn't even have to answer that question. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> I'd return wallets How before. Do you think would do that in this day and age? I think a lot more than people think. So. That's right. We she find wallets and return them. The experiment was inspired by and got results similar to those of a landmark study published last year in the journal Science. More than 70% of lost wallets were returned if they had a large amount of money inside. And despite our assumptions, the more money the wallet contained, the more likely it was to be returned. I did. I found it right over here in the corner. In other words, the more it mattered, right. the so more much, people ma'am. did the right thing. But Steven Pinker could have told you that. It feels good to really help someone. He's a cognitive psychologist cool and hair, professor dude. at Harvard. If there's an opportunity to... Check out this guy's hair, a man. ...to benefit to someone else at a small cost to yourself, uh, then, then you do it. Would it be too trite to say that there's more good in the world than we expect? I don't think it would be too trite. I like the expression from Abraham Lincoln, the better angels of our nature. Because uh, it implies that we do have those better angels, but it also implies that that's not all there is to human nature. Well, it also suggests that the, the angels are not the underdog. In fact, they win quite often. They win quite often. And uh, the imperative for all of us is to get it jigger the rules, the norms, uh, the incentives, uh, so as to bring out our better angels and to marginalize our inner demons. He says the many negative things we typically hear in the news overshadow the many positive developments all around us. Man Returns Wallet, after all, isn't much of a headline. And yet in his 2018 book, Enlightenment Now, Pinker makes the case for good news, finding that our lives, by almost every measure, are improving. And the worst off parts of the world today are better off than the best off parts not long ago. Thank you.